Hi, I'm David Plum. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer for the University of Warwick. So Warwick has around 30,000 students and it's a top 10 UK university. The great thing about a campus um, like Warwick is it's basically a live-in lab, it's a small town. Um, so we've got nearly 10,000 beds, uh, we generate a lot of our own power, but because it's connected and because we're able to get our arms around it, actually you can make these live-in lab experiences and experiments um, that you wouldn't perhaps be able to do over a much sort of broader network. So we're working with BT on immersive technologies and connected autonomous vehicles, which is a super exciting opportunity. If you consider sort of connected autonomous mobility, in terms of sustainability and carbon change, there's a huge opportunity to use some of these new technologies to be real sort of game changers. My name is uh, David Rout. Uh, I work in Enterprise CTIO as a principal technology partner. So the core of what we have delivered is a 5G cell. From there we flood the campus with 5G, but it was also about augmenting that by supplying BT's expertise in other key areas. The pace of change is so fast right now that organisations like the University of Warwick have recognised the potential, the need to invest, the need to adopt new technologies to augment their offering and position themselves at the very forefront of the academic world. Organisations that don't take a similar mindset will get left behind. I'm Matthew Higgins, a reader of 5G and Connected Technologies here at WMG at the University of Warwick. So our connected campus, as we move more and more services to be 5G enabled, will allow the seamless interconnectivity between students within the lecture theatres on their smartphones, moving forward towards being able to jump into an autonomous pod that should therefore be able to move into, say, halls of residences. My name is Anasol Peña Rios. I'm a senior researcher in AI and immersive technologies in BT. Immersive reality can make a lot of difference in different uh, aspects, but particularly in training and learning. It can improve engagement, uh, retention as well. It can bring some abstract concepts into life for people to understand. It is very exciting because uh, it opens the possibility of everybody to um, look at all of these technologies in a different way. Usually they are very linked to education or to entertainment, but this also opens the possibility for health, uh, for uh, Industry 4.0, for the construction industry as well, uh, for field services as we do. So there are many, many opportunities. I'm immensely proud of what we're achieving across the university right now. We're about to activate a first of a kind in Europe, Connected Autonomous Vehicles use case, which is hugely exciting, and it's moving BT and the university into new spaces. Yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic working with BT because as well as having the, you know, the best network in the UK in terms of you know, 4G and 5G, which obviously we're using in this particular example, um, BT have also been able to bring innovation and research to the table, but we're really fundamentally aware that we need to make it good for society. So emerging tech is nothing unless it can make a difference for a human. That's the point.